on today's Techno Babble, behind the scenes at Trinity Digital Media. is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now, here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hey, everyone. Oh, good. There for a second, I wasn't quite sure that there was audio. Just what I needed. Okay. Uh, join the live conversation by heading over to churchtechcast.com and hop into the chat window. This show records live every week at 11 a.m. Eastern on Thursdays. That's 8 a.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. UTC on churchtechcast.com and we have a live chat room during that time. Also, you can drop me a line on email, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com or give me a Call on the voicemail, one 763 3246 And l- let me just pull that out real quick. So I have recorded a an intro or um, a tour of the studio that I hope works. If not, I will be back in just a second. But... Uh, let me at least simulate like this is a live camera and turn over here and we'll get going. Welcome everyone. This is my studio. Now, this isn't a view you're used to seeing because you're used to seeing me from over here. This is my desk where I do most of my work and it's a little messy, but uh, it works for me being artistic and all. But I thought I'd give you just a quick tour of the studio and some of the little things that I've done to make it work a little bit better in my situation. So hang on because I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and it'll be a little jiggly, but that's okay. So let me do that right now. Okay, I've got a few cords uh, kind of hanging off this thing to make it work. It's a little convoluted, but it works. So let's start, um, I guess, in this corner behind you. This is my easy chair where I sometimes sit and do some reading and stuff. There's my uh, Star Wars poster because I'm a big old geek. Um, Here are some of my books. Now, a lot of people have asked if I've read all those books. No, I haven't read all those books. Um, Some of them are reference books. Other books are, uh, well, there's a few that I've written. But uh, some of them I keep meaning to read. Uh, Since I have a seminary education, some of them I got at seminary and I thought oh this is great I need to keep this and I haven't actually read it since so we'll continue on okay so moving past the easy chair uh, if you're sitting in the chair it would be to your right we have my rack of equipment so there is my uh, coat and dress shirt that I wear during the Etern... No, Creating Church show uh, because I'm going for a kind of unified look. You'll see down there I've got tons of other equipment. I'm not going to go through all that. 
But what I want you to look at is right here. This is my soft box. And I got that off of eBay for like $20. And I had to put the actual electrical workings in it. So it's back there. If you look, you'll see an orange cord coming out. It's very basic. Basically, it's a piece of wood with a plug-in um, Edison socket. So I've got that plugged in. I'll talk about this wire that seems to be coming from nowhere here in a second. Okay, on to my desk itself. So, let me tilt this up. Oh, there, I can actually see. So I've got two speakers, one on each side. There is my MacBook Pro that powers the whole shebang and the external monitor. There is the webcam that I normally use. Now I'm using my T3i because anytime I can I want to and I've pre-recorded this so that you can see kind of what's going on with the better picture. So that's that. Here let me move my desk chair. The audio that I record runs through this Zoom H4. You'll see the blinking red light. That just indicates that it's in standby and has audio. So I really hope the audio works on this, otherwise this won't be very good at all. Um, external storage. I have a raw drive here coming into a new star desk dock so that's very helpful to me on Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I shoot against the white muslin which we're about to get to I put the web camera on top of these boxes to get additional height so you can actually see I've got a uh, wire cast up ready to go for the show and then I've got uh, churchtechcast.com with the pre-recorded loop going on in the background. This soundboard is a Tascam M35. Uh, when I worked in tech at the seminary that I worked for, they were throwing it away, and it seems to work fine, so I use it not really for live production, but for switching between inputs uh, through these speakers. So. Here's, here's a reflector that uh, gives me fill the light. Here is a picture of Jesus. This is a poster from England about uh, when Shakespeare's house was sold. And here is my white muslin background leading to the door that leads out the office. So on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I pull that tight and you'll see here I have it clamped over on the right and I've got some C47s, closed, pin, closed pins that help take out some of the wrinkles. You'll also notice a couple of things that I've done. First off, you might think, wow, that looks a lot like a toilet plunger. It is, in fact, that. I bought two new ones, so they've never been in toilets as far as I know. You'll also see the 2x4 that I cut a slot in at the top. Here, let me zoom in to that. And that's where the crossbar fits in. Now, the crossbar is actually a painter's pole. So here, let's zoom in over here, and you can see that a little bit better. So that's a painter's pole that goes across. The muslin sheet goes through that. And on this end, there, the um, plunger was too small for that end, so I've got a little plumbing fitting on the end there that goes in, again, to the slot on the 2x4 that I can clamp to. Up here, zoom out to that, okay, up here I have cable storage. Uh, and hat storage. Uh, the 
because somehow I've collected a lot of hats even though I don't wear a lot of hats. This is my churchtechcast.com sign which I got at Goodwill for like 50 cents. It's not even a dry erase board. It's just a poster frame with the white side of the paper. And then I wrote on the plastic with dry erase marker. There are my lovely girls. There's a picture of my wife and I when we were dating. A little motorcycle sculpture. I don't ride, but I wish I did. Maybe someday. The, my little sister brought me back from, I think, Indonesia. It was some mission trip she went on. There's a weaving I did in seventh grade. Here is a mask of me as I pictured myself as an adult in seventh grade. Here's uh, the picture that I use online that I got uh, taken at church. And this is a card that someone at church made for me to encourage me. And here's another picture of Jesus, but this is, here, let's see, get closer on it. I got this at, like a swap meet or something, a yard sale, I can't remember. But that's the Gospel of John written out in its entirety, sometimes darker, sometimes lighter, to be the face of Jesus. So, that is pretty much it. Oh. You might be wondering what's in here. More cables, more odds and ends, storage like that. So, oh, let me go over here and show you the rest of my lighting setup. So, this is a Lowell Omni, I believe. It's either the Omni or the Toda. Oh, that's the Toda. I don't know why I get those confused. So, that's my main source of light when I have the muslin up. I also have this little lamp that's also, even though it's a compact fluorescent, it is incandescent balanced. So I think that's called warm. I actually looked up the color temperature to make sure that it matches. And so that fills in some of the gaps that the hot spot of this doesn't fill in. Um, down here, I've got a focus target that I set up on this X, which is where I stand, so that I can focus this camera. Now, I promised to tell you um, about that wire. And so if we look up here, you'll notice that I've got all sorts of craziness going on in this light fixture. So the bright spot you see is a compact fluorescent. So I'm going to turn that off here just to unscrew it a little bit so that we can see that better. Okay, so there you go. And it's got a screw-in fixture that has uh, a power receptacle there. And one of those is coming out the other way. That's for my on-air light. And then this one is just a 12-volt power supply that comes back over here. Here is my backlight. And it comes down here. I used to work for a company that did home automation. So I've got a sensor that senses when there's power there and it turns on this light and this light. And if I had that one screwed on, of course that would be turned on because that's direct, but it also turns on the on-air light. So my camera quit recording there, but uh, basically that's what it does. So this is a very basic studio. It doesn't have bells and whistles like crazy. It's also my office space, but you'll notice that I've got at least two, maybe three sets. And that's how I set this up, that I've got the muslin background behind me. I've got the desk right there. And if I wanted to, uh, I have on occasion shot at the easy chair. So I get a little more flexibility that way. I hope this gives you some ideas on ways that you can set up uh, 
a small space on a budget so that you can use video to change eternity. Until next time, I'm Paul Allen Clifford with Trinity Digital Media. What's next?